good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I need not to tell you, I'm exhausted. We've been traveling, discovering the hidden treasure. We're into tourism. Of course, you know my name is Daniel Rogers, AKA the Sheriff. And this is examining Liberia under the microscope. I also work with Hot FM 107.9. Today is Sunday, it's the 9th of May, 2021. Few days from now, we'll be celebrating Unification Day. And some are asking questions. Are we reconciled? Are we unified? But let's talk about tourism. Because like I said, we bring you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So we are in Popa. I hope I got it right. Yeah, yeah. Popa District. Okay, we are in Popa District. Yes. And this is Valuable Town. Yes. This is the Valuable Fall. Okay, so my cameraman have his own camera. I want somebody to tell me a bit of this town. I mean, this this fall, this Valuable, this Valuable Fall. You guys, you want to introduce yourself? You want you want to call your name? Come closer. Come. Come. Come closer. Yeah, sit there. Yeah, you don't. We're not loving. Don't sit on me. <laughs> okay. Tell us your name. Introduce yourself. My name is Vale Zina from Valuable Town. Okay, Vale Zina. Vale Zina. Vani Zina. Vani Zina. Zina from Valuable Town. And we chose to talk to him because we want to get the history of this place. This is the fall. He's gonna tell us a bit. We are told, driving coming here, that we're in we're in Mano River. This is Mano River. And if you go on that side, if you cross the fall, you're into Sierra Leone, right? Yes. Okay. So right now is the dry season. And I'm sure during the reading season, we won't be able to sit here. Am I wrong? Yes. How powerful, even though it's a dry, but you can see the fall, you, you feel the current. How powerful is it? Okay, so you can understand some people shy from the camera, but according to him, according to the other folks who explained to us uh, in the Valoway town, Valoway Fall, that during the rainy season, this place, we can't sit here. We can't sit here. Okay. Nobody able to sit here. No one. Yeah, they are telling us we can't sit here. We talk about tourism. We are the people who put in tourism. And we have said it. We will go to the length and breadth of this country, every inch of this country, to bring you the hidden treasure, to bring you what you deserve to see. Because most times we say, people around the world say, nothing good can come out of Liberia. But we have discovered, we have come to realize that indeed something good can come out of Liberia. We have everything. And let me remind you, like I usually say, the gold, the diamond, the coffee, the iron ore, the rubber, the cocoa has not done anything for us for the past 174 years. I'm saying 74 years. Two months from now, we'll be celebrating a hundred and 74 years of independence yes. since our forefather declared independence for this great republic before i die i want to see tourism boom in our country i want to see tourism boom in our country that these people here the people you see sitting here will forget about the motorcycle will forget about the, or the motorbike or the keke and will come into tourism because in ghana tourism the Ghanaian government realized $1.5 billion annually from tourism. In Gambia, same story. In Sierra Leone, same story. Now, if you dare venture, and I'm told that it's not possible to go across that, to cross over on, no. on the other side. Yeah, that is Sierra Leone. You can see the fall. You can see the fall. So the people want to call on the government. The people are excited. We explain to them that we are here to discover the hidden treasure, to discover, to bring history, bring the reality out of history. And this is where we are. This is the Valuable Waterfall in Popa, Popa 
district, yes. Grand Kitma County. This is the western part of Liberia. This water, you know they don't want to talk. We are all exhausted, but this is what I choose to do. This is my passion. The temperature is, I was getting mad at Samuel because he refused to bring my scar juice. And I have been going to falls, different falls, water in Bon, water in Nimba. I mean, you just, the Patawi, the Pui, and the Sega Fall. But it's challenging. Some of you see the fall is beautiful. You see the scene, it's like a side scene. So what we do, we visualize it. Watch the video, share the video. We'll post it on YouTube because we can't go live because of the network coverage. So what we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna go to the water. I hope somebody needs to hold my hand. I hope I don't fall in there. Anybody that can swim? Okay, so we're gonna go. You're not easy to swim in this fall because it's a powerful, it's a powerful fall. Okay, yeah. so uh, let me see if I can get down. Let me see. Oh, you guys, these guys are great. And you guys are really, I mean, I, I, I'm enjoying the hospitality. I'm really enjoying the fall. So this is the waterfall. This is This is the waterfall. This is the fall here. You can see the current. Everywhere that you see, you see the rocks, huge rocks. And like the, the Sega waterfall. We saw a mini stream walking in the bush to come here like a forest. This is the beauty. If you've never been to Liberia, if you're from Western Liberia, Popa District, because I want to know farm you, I gotta call it Nipu. Popa District. They say in Bola, they say what? They say, uh -huh. they say, 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 they that this morning we got up and we said, okay, we're on our way. We dress, we put on our jacket and we came. So there's the fall. If you don't have nothing, if you think like you don't have nothing to show, no, you are making a mistake. Because this is the treasure. This is more than the diamond. You see the current there? You can see the current. You see it there? You can see it. You can see the current there, folks. So, so you all over the world, wherever you are, whether you're in Australia, you're in Austria, you're in New York, you're in London, you're in Cologne, you're in Finland, wherever you are, this is the place. Come to Liberia. We ask the government to do all in her power, all that she can to boost tourism, because we have the heritage. God bless us with everything. Let us get into tourism. Let us get into tourism. Let us get into agriculture. People say we need security. The country needs to be safe. First, we need roads. We need roads. Because it is still just coming here. You walk, I mean, almost one hour to get here. But no matter the challenge, how difficult it is, this is my passion. This is what I say I will do. This is my dream for Mama Liberia. We all can't work in the government. We all can, we can be in the private sector and we can create jobs for the people because the government alone ain't able to absorb everybody. So the private sector, once the private sector boom, I'm talking about tourism, I'm not lying to you. This is what we have to offer. Not me, this is what we have to offer. You see it? You see it here? In a part of the world, wherever you are, you in Ivory Coast, you in Seven you, I'm told, that, that, that the fall that we have here, the fall that we have here is, is all in other country. So folks, this is the value waterfall in Popa. Popa District. Popa District. This is Manon River. When you go across there, I want to fly there, go across Sierra Leone and come back. But it's not possible. Because the guy say if you do that, this fall will, you will, will break, it will grind you. So, 